Um, we're super excited. I've never been down to Michigan myself, but you know, growing up, I feel like that's a place you dream of playing. And, um, it's gonna be a lot of people. It's gonna be loud. We're excited, and you know, we're especially, you know, we just want to get a big win uh, on a road game. So it's big for us. And uh, I just, you could tell everyone this week is extremely pumped up, excited, and confident. What did you guys learn in that Georgia experience now that can help you in terms of cadence, loudness, and all that that can help this time? Yeah, just overall, really embracing uh, all the elements. Obviously, Georgia was extremely loud, and we had a couple cadence issues. You know, we fixed that. We worked on that this bye week, and. Um, you know, this week as well. So, um, yeah, just being able to embrace all those elements for the, some of those guys who haven't played in huge, loud games like that, you know, just find a way to, you know, calm down and have fun with it. It's going to be awesome. That, 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 we like when it's really loud. We like when there's a lot of people there. We like when it's, you know, primetime television. So that's the point, and that's why we come to Notre Dame. When you have to work on things like that in practice, it, does it get to the point of annoyance because you have to do it so much that it's like, enough already but then you have to do it even a little bit more to make sure you got it yeah um yeah it definitely gets repetitive but it ends up hearing just kind of like white noise you can't even hear but that's the point it's it's got to get you ready for it and um that's what's necessary to you know be prepared for um saturday night what do you see from their defense uh they're extremely aggressive um they bring a lot of pressure and um you know they have a lot of man-to-man, one-on-one, -on -one. so it's up to us to, you know, make the big play when it's needed. That's how you win big games, so, you know, I trust our guys to go out there, and it's up to me to deliver the ball. And after playing in, in some big games now, being quarterback with this team, uh, is playing in a big environment like that, and you talked about, yeah, you, you kind of live for those moments, but is it one of those things where, you know, it's it's kind of in the forefront, or is it sort of kind of you put it behind you to focus more on the game? And, um, you always just want to focus on the game, but you know it's hard not to just get extremely excited for that when there's you know 110,000 people screaming. That's that's why you come to Notre Dame, come to Notre Dame's playing games like that. So you just got to find a way to you know have fun out there and get excited about it. We got all these people watching. It's gonna be great. And, um, you know we've practiced so hard. It's that it's Saturday night is our night to go out there and you know show everyone show everyone our preparation and, and uh, you know how we do things. So you just got to find a way to get excited for it instead of make it too big of a deal. You think the bye week came at a good time? I do, a really good time, just to kind of, you know, get everybody rested up, and uh, you know, now two weeks to prepare from someone is always better.